Okay, now we're going to talk about converting percents into fractions. Okay, this is very simple if you can remember that percent means over 100 or out of 100. And that's why I like to use these as definitions for percent. So, if percent means over 100, and I've got a percent, we'll start off with a fairly simple one like 75%. You should have seen that before. Okay? So, 75%. Well, if percent means over 100, then shouldn't 75% mean 75 over 100? Seventy-five percent does mean seventy-five over one hundred, but the problem is, is this is a rather large number for a fraction. I wouldn't want to use that. But what I can do is I can reduce. I know, so I can divide both the numerator and denominator by twenty-five. So let's go ahead and do that. Seventy-five divided by twenty-five would be three, and one hundred divided by twenty-five. Just like there are how many quarters in a dollar? Four. Okay. So I end up with 75% is equivalent to 3 over 4 or 3 fourths. Let's try another one. Let's try 60%. I want to make that into a fraction. Well, again, I start by making that equal to 60 over 100. Because that percent sign is always going to tell me that that number is a ratio over 100. So, 60% equals 60 over 100. Now all I need to do is reduce. I can divide 60. Let's say I can divide 60 by 10. I can divide 100 by 10. Well, now... I'm left with 6 tenths. It's a lot easier fraction, but it's still not reduced all the way. I can divide both of those by 2. And I would get 3 fifths. Much easier fraction to work with. So, 60% is equivalent to 3 fifths. Let's try one more. This time, let's say 5%. Now, 5% is going to be equal to 5 over 100. So again, I'm going to reduce. 5, I can divide by 5 as well as 100. I can divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So I end up with 5% equals 1 over 20. Let's see what happens if we have a percent larger than 100%. Like 130%. Again, that's still going to equal 130 over 100. So, easy number I can divide both those by is 10. 130 divided by 10, well, I can just get rid of the zeros here. So that would leave me 13 over 10. And I can't reduce anymore. 130% equals 13 tenths. And I know this is right because 130% is greater than 1, thus it being over 100%. 13 tenths is also greater than 1 because it's an improper fraction. If I wanted to, I could convert that and make it 1 and three-tenths into a mixed number. 
but this is still all equivalent.